So, assalamu alaikum and welcome to the channel. My name is Aisha. If you're new here, you are welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Today is the 18th of Ramadan, so for, which means we have 12 more Ramadan days to go. I have some things planned out for before the Ramadan ends, and I really hope, I really hope that it works out. Like I really <laughs> hope that it works out, cause I'm. I want to bring some people, like some close friends or like some old friends actually, also old friends um, onto the channel just to discuss some topics and I really, really, really hope that it works out. So pray for me, inshallah that works out. So yeah, so today what I was going to talk about is self, self, it's all about self, self-development know to self you know as a young muslim like i know we all go through so you know i know i know as a young muslim we all go through a lot of different dif difficulties in life and how do we navigate through all this i mean i'm no pro into so i'm not a pro in like you know lifestyle management and all that in fact i'm a work in progress myself but every once in a while i do like to like to i do like to talk about some things that i've done in the past that have worked for me but i i continue to do and still works for me we're talking about today is self self development note to, actually it's note to self like um the main thing is to prioritize oneself like so you can be sane so you can be healthy because you know if you are good in internally if you are health-wise or holistically any in any way if you're good like that then you can interact more and better with people around you with your educations you know even how you like self-develop environments and it shows like Honestly, I know like it shows everywhere you go. You know how they say like the first impression lasts longer. Yeah, like if there is anything that is wrong internally, like maybe you're feeling stressed, and I don't mean all those kind of acute stress or something like that. No, I mean like chronic stress. Do you know those kind of like migraine? See, migraine is a chronic stress. Bad 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 sometimes i feel like i get i have migraine but you know you can't self-diagnose you have to you still have to go to the doctor to like do that but like you know i'm talking about chronic like chronic pain pain that makes you like just <sighs> what's going on so i'm not a pro with um makeup and everything like that but you know when i do my makeup i I shall make sure that I try, you know, I shall make sure that I try. Yeah. So not to say, like while we are going through life, taking th things a day at a time. You know, when they say like, you you learn as you grow older, you know, um, now um, I'm no longer a teenager and I've seen a lot, I've heard a lot in terms of, you know, the last 10 years is all about um, feminism and you know, you know, with Chimamanda, you know, everything. And you know, even with these people that comes out and be like, oh, uh, we're strong women, support women, we should all be feminist. In terms of, in terms of man and woman relation and like man supporting feminism will make the world go the axis of the earth rotate even better i don't know i mean like the rate is always the same anyway but you get what i'm talking about i hope you do you do okay so like we told this i've learned through my i've learned through it like you know there are certain there are some things that i won't do 
like uh, even like right now i mean i had my own struggle with hijab like how i started i was so diligent i was so diligent in it and i guess like this is not the video for that but i was so diligent in it like in high school in junior high i was a little bit you know on and off and on and then even in university however and you know what i'm i'm a lazy person <laughs> You know, just, there are some women that are actually kind of lazy. I mean, you know, in terms of like, lazy, lazy. You know, I don't even want to say lazy because you know the intention is not to like attract a man or like attract. It just, you know, honestly, it just like attract people that vibe with you. You know, friends that will vibe with you. That's what I think the attra the main attraction, the main attraction is for like, in terms of like. I don't have the word for it but it's not it's not about attraction to the opposite gender it's not honestly I won't say it's about that uh, being lazy in terms of looks like me I'll just I'll just get get up uh, my bed dress shower dress you know do all uh, morning care and everything and then I'm out of the house even when I go down when I go to my to the kitchen I only I might only like drink tea and bread and just leave the house so I'll just drink some tea and leave my house like I'm done like I'm going so I don't want to say put it lazy I mean like I do take care of myself like you know my dark spots I've been trying to get rid of it you know uh -huh. That was, that's a whole lot of another story. I've always been that kind of, like, I, I will dress up to go to school. Like, like I'll be like that person that will wake up in the air with, like, with their pajamas and like, hello, family, I'm ready to go to school. And then my family will call me back. What, what, what are you wearing? I mean, I've, I never went to school in PJ. I never went to school in PJ, but I'd be like that kind of person. Cause that's, I don't know, besides you're in school anyway. And even like, I get like confused, like when um, they say, oh, they, don't you know that people are looking at you? I'm like, okay, do I look that good? Oh, thank you. I mean, if they are looking at me, like, okay. I mean, I, I, it's a school life anyway, but like, you know, but you wouldn't find me as that kind of person that would be dressing up to school. Like when I do dress up, it'd be like there is an event going on in the school. Like, you know, there's like African student association. Maybe they're having like some kind of um, cookout or like some kind of party going on. I was like, okay, okay, we we'll dress up to school, okay. So I will dress then, but like even like once in a while, maybe when I have like when I wake up so early or like I and then like I have like two hours or sometimes when I have like evening or afternoon class, because morning class that's gone. Like there's no way you can drop stuff in the morning. There is, but you have to wake up like at six o'clock. But even then, who is looking at you in the morning? Like when everything is all still dark. But in the afternoon, if I have afternoon class, of course. If I have morning class, of course. I shared this look on my page that I would do twisting with my hijab. But I don't have like the pin here, so I can't even like. Or oh, maybe I can actually try it. I'll try that. So this is my signature twist hijab that I was talking about. Okay so take care of yourself in that manner like you know it's not necessarily that you're it's not necessarily that you're like want to attract the person but they always say that oh people are always looking blah 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 and all this kind of thing i'm like you know if they're looking that's their own no. can they come and look at my you know my youtube and don't and they can and they can subscribe in the process so we can begin to do <laughs> anyways so as a as a woman in this century honestly we have to stand up for what we want so I, I think as a woman we need to we need to stand more for ourselves 
Women are not weak, they're not vulnerable, they're not impressionable, and you can't just walk all over them or like take advantage of them because of like the the construction of the society. The society is <laughs> the society is demented, but the woman is not. Like I feel so sad when like you know you're trying to you're trying to pull someone into like a, a new space like a new social like you're trying to pull them to do to engage or to act on a new things but because of one reason or the other maybe family you know or maybe even like their thoughts in themselves that oh what will people say yeah. at this point really We need to stop. Like, what will people say? No. It's you, really. Like, your happiness, your sanity here. <laughs> people are going to say whatever they want. Whether you whether you agree with them or you do not agree with them. They're going to say it. I mean, I, they will say in my language that um, I want to say you so. Yeah. Like, they're the one that do this, do that. Like, those people, like, they, they will say, I want to say you so. Like, they, they, they do this and they do that. They do, like, they don't stay in one place. So, they want to, like, and you can't be involved in that, really. You I mean, so that's the first thing that I also like. Really, yourself is the priority. It's a priority and I know there are so many limitations like in terms of family pressure, prayer pressure, society pressure. It's too much for one single individual. What is that? So live your life. Know to self. Let's go. So the first one that I come up with, like um like I think it was about two or three weeks ago, I was I won't even call it a panic attack. At panic attack, it wasn't a panic attack, but I was in this kind of turmoil, and like my chest, my chest was rising. I was, my heart this was beating so fast. My heart was beating, beating so fast. Like everything was just happening, and I was like, and I was, and I, I kept telling myself to calm down, to calm down. Like I was saying it so loud. I calm down, calm down. Like I say it so loud that then I realized like it's processing day. And the next time that I had that kind of breakdown, actually, when I had that kind of breakdown, I keep saying it's what I said. Calm down. Like honestly, that's the word. That's the sentence. Calm down. Calm down. I used to do yoga. Really, I only went once. But it was nice. I went with my friend. It was nice. And I didn't go. Even though it was free. Can you imagine? It was free, but I, I only went once. But it was good. Like, calm down. Profess it out loud. Profess it. Calm down. Like, whatever you want to say to yourself. Whatever, like, in that moment that you need to hear. And there is nobody around to say it to you. Say it to yourself, calm down. Like I say, I said it loud and clear, clear for some seconds or even a minute, and I, and it helped me. And I was able to like really come and say, say it. You know, it's like when they say that you're reading, like if you're reading like this, da 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 da. da if you're reading like this, they say that's like passive reading, versus when you're reading like this, first. Say it out loud. Calm down loud and clear. That's an active reading. Like when you say it out loud, when you're reading and you say what you're reading out loud, like that, they call that active reading. And that actually helps you remember what you're reading better. So they actually say that it's good for, like when you're studying for exam, that reading it out loud or reading it to someone else is better. So say it out loud to yourself. It's, you remember, it's, in terms of exam, you remember what you read better than when you're doing the passive reading. 
that is one so notice it say if you have to say that i'm kind to myself i'm going to be kind to myself say it out loud say it really say it loud i'm beautiful yes say that loud whatever whatever that thing like the good things that you need to say and you need to profess to yourself that you know maybe your good friend that's always like you know pamper you isn't like there beside you you know you are your own you are your own or something like that say it out loud to yourself honestly we need each other more than but you know we need each other but you know the society that we live in has made it impossible to be with each other to be connected we, i mean as a human being we crave connection it's so sad that the society is not willing to give us or put us in that space where we can positively connect to each other so profess it out loud whatever you need to say to yourself loud and clear to yourself notice that's number one number two is the priority like and the priority is like different for everyone honestly like there are people that are that their religion is like very important to them that's spiritual priority that's why i was saying like okay uh, yeah yourself as a priority number one but what else do you make you prioritize in your life like that thing and is it like your financial well-being like if you have if you have if you're financially stable you can go on and live 10 years without bothering anybody without anybody coming to bother you or without you needing someone to like fulfill that financial purpose or financial stability and this will mean in terms of like maybe husband you know boyfriend if you want to go that way and with that and, and education is, is also a priority for ladies please they say prevention is better than cure respect is reciprocal and all these other amazing quotes and proverbs education is power yes education is power so it is better to teach the person how to fish than it is to like be giving them fish every time so in terms of priority like have you gotten that degree have you gotten that master degree that doctorate degree that you want but priority so as as every single person has something that they want so much and they love to have so everybody has some that something that they prioritize well there are many things that they prioritize and i've mentioned spirituality i've mentioned finances i've mentioned educations maybe it's your beauty that you prioritize like you, I, i've got to look beautiful every time i go out i mean like physical appearance beauty in the hand of the beholder like that is something but if you i mean why not why not like it is i mean they said it is so now to look good and to dress good and to smell good and everything so yeah. <laughs> i mean like you don't want to go to, i don't think anybody wants to like sit beside someone who smelling bad i mean maybe they might not be upfront about it but it wouldn't be polite so actually not work hard to like make it a good girl like in terms of in terms not even like as physical appearance in terms of other appearance other as well as like others you know what <laughs> it is time for zero so so whatever it is that you want please make sure that you get it 
with your education that is so important even like getting it before you like get married or because then like once you get married then you start having like kids and all that and you know sometimes like people marry like differently and, like from different backgrounds and if your if the spouse is not understanding that's a, that's another set of problems right there or if he's not going to be supportive that's another set of problems right there so make sure that and you know I mean, Esther Krola and um, and Mika, like always help us, like in choosing, in that like, yeah, in choosing and like making like a life partner. Like, do you see that much commitment? So that's why it's like really important to like, work on yourself, prioritize what you, what you want, what you are. Um, honestly, what's on your top list that your health is important you came first you're not doing it because of the person sitting beside you or the person out there or the person that's going to talk behind you or the person that doesn't like you or the person or you know the person that like you. you're not doing this for them if you're sitting here if you're healthy don't forget that fulfilling your priorities also helps you in terms of growth like honestly you are more happy I think, honest, I think that you're more happy if you be like, oh, I want to be a lawyer. You and throughout, regardless of how much struggle or how much time that it takes you to become that lawyer, and you still become it. You're more fulfilled in that manner because you're like, oh, yes, I have fulfilled like my personal, my personal goal, my personal priority. So. So the third thing that I have on my list is treat yourself. Treat yourself in terms of like, you know, it's not like you go out alone. I do that. I do this like a lot and like not a lot, but quite often. Like I'll go out like since, even since I graduated from high school, like I'll go out, I'll go out alone. I'll go to movies alone by myself. I'll go to um <laughs> no and you know it's not lonely. It's actually quite fulfilling. Like no, you don't need tons of friends or you don't need to like RSVP to like a, a certain events. Like uh, even if you're invited, you don't have to. I mean it's good to go, go in like a congregation, like a group, like you you know, when you're feeling everything on the floor, you're, you're like having food, you're eating, you're drinking, like, it's good. I mean, like, you, honestly, like, or maybe you're dancing a little bit, and you know, like, it's always, it's all, like, I found out fulfilling, like, honestly, I went to, I probably went to too many dates by myself than I had with another person, or even with a group. Like I enjoyed it. It's it's quite refreshing. I mean, you're there. I mean, and that kind of time you can actually use to actually reflect on yourself. So take yourself out. Have a dinner date with yourself and by yourself. You know, do that often. I do that, and it helps, and it makes me happy, and it's honestly it's relaxing. What I ever felt from all those kind of lonely dinner dates by myself is fulfillment like i enjoy my food and you know you, you, you plus you don't have like you know you always have that one friend that doesn't bring their wallets in case in one way or the other whether they do it intentionally or not so you always have like those people that kind of take the advantage of being like going to a date in the as a group so like right now you can sing you can like i Honest, when I go out on those kind of dates with myself, I feel, I feel fulfilled. I feel fulfilled. I feel fun. Don't make fun of me. Like I know I can't say fluffy, right? <laughs> no, I know I can't say fluffy, right? But yeah, I feel fulfilled. Okay, so I feel, I feel content. I feel, I feel good. I feel. And I enjoy my food better, and I enjoy my drinks. I mean, I, I don't oppose going out to dates or anything like that. I don't oppose it. It's good. It's always the more the merrier. But 
take note that for yourself as a growth and as something that is actually quite enlightening and um, personal to you too you need your you need your time you need that privacy of you owe yourself that privacy so sometimes i go out and i like see this restaurant I'm like oh let's try this restaurant I'm like okay and i and i go in and i eat and i love it like honestly love love you should try it like try it out i it's the solemnity of the of the process of you just sitting there eating your food by yourself just enjoying the time by yourself it's very solemn and they call it they call it solitude time and solitude is not bad loneliness they said loneliness is bad yeah they said loneliness is not so good but solitude is a better version of loneliness and you know you have time to reflect on yourself you know if you're not occupied with something like you're studying or you're having to do something alone it's just like your leisure time like a refreshment Get yourself. Come on. so treat yourself and in that sense you're being kind to yourself in that way being kind to yourself is like you know knowing that you deserve this you deserve all the good things you deserve all this well things you deserve to be beautiful you deserve to be to be tell to be told that you're beautiful you deserve all those kind words you deserve to meet people that see you that truly see you that see you as you want to be seen as a good person as like humble as this and that or in another in any other ways that you are open to be seen so don't forget that treat yourself to one dinner date maybe once a month two times in two three four times every three months it's not i don't think it's a bad idea i done it and i loved it that's all i can say and it's beautiful it's quite it's actually quite serene it the serenity of it, it the solemnity the solitude it's like ah I'm just by myself, I'm not with anybody that's bugging me, I'm not with a date that I have to like listen to, I have to like pay attention to, you know, that's what I mean. So be kind to yourself and take yourself out. It's a date with yourself, that's all. And what's more better way to spend your time than be, than spending it with that person right in front of the mirror. That person st staring back at you in front of the mirror. What's better way to spend your time? I mean, like, that's the way I feel. And I quite love it. Like, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't, if anybody feel like it's strange, I don't feel like it's strange at all. Like, if anybody asks me, it's like, oh, are you waiting for someone? Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for... <laughs> no, I'm not waiting for anyone. I'm just here alone, wanting to enjoy my time. And don't forget, J.K. Rowling wrote her book in a coffee shop, in a coffee place. Like she, well, according to the story that she said, I'm, I'm pretty sure, she goes to do like a coffee store or a coffee shop and then just put her notes on there and then write. I believe she wrote it out. She didn't type it out. So... It's, I, I feel like it's a way to be going to a date with yourself and by yourself. It's a way to be productive in terms of, you know, in terms of your uh, mental state. You know. It's joyful. It's peaceful. It disappears. It's this harmony I felt within myself. And, you know, you are, I, I, I feel like you're even better. You will even... You'll be a better customer that way to like maybe to the restaurant you go to because I, I always ended up like giving a tip afterward then. I always feel better and I always feel like I'm, oh, I'm always tipping the waitress or whoever I attend to me after I'm done my food when I go into restaurants alone than when I go to the group because then 
when you go to with groups, some people I get self conscious. Like, are my friends giving a tip? Or are they not giving a tip? A tip, you know, something like that. So note that too. Take yourself out. It's beautiful, and it's a better date actually. It's a better date. This person is a better date. This person standing in front of the mirror is a better date. So yes, the, the person staring right back at you in front of the mirror is a better date than really anyone else. I'm not advocating that going to a dinner date or a date with family or with your friends or with, I don't know, co-workers or anything is bad. But once in a while, do remember to take yourself out. You needed that. I enjoyed mine. And I think you will enjoy yours too. So that's my third. My fourth point is plan better. Plan better. I mean, we all plan in our heads like, oh, I'm going to do this. I have to do this, that, 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 that. But what about writing it down? Writing it down. There is a study that I've heard of that is still like writing your go writing your plan out how do i how do i word it writing your plan out is better and it's even uh motivates you or yeah it's motivates motivates you to complete to carry out the plan than if you didn't because you can always plan in your head oh i'm going to eat i'm going to wash I have to sweep the house, I have to clear this, I have to do that, sweep. all that in your head. But if you write it out, you are more, <laughs> you're more likely to like carry them out than if you, because you know, there is a chance that you might even forget one or two things that you want to do. So writing it down can help, especially if you are, if you are planning for like long term schools in terms of like, oh like in a year time like i want to do this in this month i want to do this in that month i want to do this next